begin by asking, when you're in a movie like this, clearly your characters are drinking the whole time, right? You're in and out of bars. I mean, let's be honest. Is there a little, little drinking on the side? Or are we professional throughout the whole shoot? I'm a trained actor, and I... Um, I, I, uh, no, I, uh, <laughs> you know what's crazy? It's like we were shooting in a lot of live bars, and we were actually encouraged, not by the crew so much, but like by the guys that were overseeing their bar. They're like, dude, do you want, want a beer? You know, we could totally get you one for free. I had a couple of sippies, a couple Late of drinks. Extras probably drunk a little light, bit, right? Light beer. <laughs> There's a lot of non alcoholic beverages floating okay. around. That's good. It's a legal That's good. issue. So legal yeah, issue. try to keep it, try to keep it on the up and up. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good. Is it hard to act drunk? Is it hard to sort of? I mean, your character's not too wasted throughout it. Right. But. Well, that's the thing. Um, even though, like, after that's an, we would ask John and Scott, they're like, should we be drunk here? We just did a whole competition of drinking games. Wouldn't we be buzzed? And it's like, who wants to see like four dudes just like stumbling around <laughs> the movie? So we had to kind of hold it together a little bit more, but just have little elements of like looseness there. And also, right. like, I mean, I know that when I get drunk, I'm just really ha like, I'm just happy. I'm just sort of like. Hey, you know. Yeah, but how fun would that be if all of us were just like, hey, right, man. exactly. The whole two hours uh, of just, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really You're really grounded. Get a little coherent, yeah, yeah. 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 coherent. Uh, let me ask you, Sarah, about Nicole and sort of her attraction to Casey when she first meets her, and also how realistic is it for a girl to meet a guy overnight and then invite him to Europe with her? Um. Well, <laughs> <laughs> would you I do think, that? You wouldn't do that, right? I think Nicole would do that okay. because I think that she's sort of a free spirit, and she's kind of like, I think she's kind of down for whatever. And I knew a lot of girls like that in school. Like I had a couple of friends who joined the Hard Krishnas because they were like, we just want the experience. You know? <laughs> That's awesome. So um, yeah. So I mean, I don't think it's like far fetched, and also you. Total, I mean, people have totally had these experiences. I've had these experiences where you meet someone and you're just like, oh my God, I love you so much. Like, yeah. this is so amazing. And you have all these crazy lustful sparks and everything. And then like, maybe two weeks later, you're not really that into them. But when you first meet them, you're like, this is it. You know? Yeah, and by the really time, by the time like you invite me to Europe, we had run into each other like four times throughout the night. There's something yeah. seeming like cosmic something seeming was about the, yeah. these two and how they see each other and how every time she like walks into frame, they do a slow motion. <laughs> you know, yeah. so you're seeing Casey's like fantasy. And if you ever have that like romantic moment in your life where like the guy really does run to you and give you a kiss, and all of a sudden you're just like, if this was a movie, there'd be music playing right now. Yeah, I would invite that guy to Europe. And there's actually music <laughs> playing in that scene in, in the movie. So it's perfect. Yes. Well, Sky, let me ask you about the scene that I'm sure you're tired of talking about, but I gotta awesome. ask you, what's it like when you know as an actor you have to prepare and stand naked with another dude and then kiss him? I mean, it's, do you want as many, are you like, get this in the first take, we're like not doing American a lot of takes? It's like the American bar mitzvah. like I became <laughs> a man that day. Uh, I, uh, it was a lot, I mean, like, listen, it, there was a lot of attention actually surrounding it, so you know, but like a lot of conversations that went into it. So it kind of got great because uh, by the time we did it, I was just like, let's just go for it already, man. It's fine. It was and really hyped up. Yeah, it was really hyped up. Before like, you did it. Miles was talking about it every day, like, dude, this is going to be so weird. And like, I don't even want to <laughs> do it. Like, maybe we should try to get a cut. And I'm like, let's just go for it, man. It's for the sake of a comedy, you know? And We're the, not more, the more awkward you feel in the scene, the better off. That's what it I said, plays. too. I was like, our characters are supposed to hate it. Like, right. use it. Use this uncomfortable moment. and. But yeah, standing naked, kissing a guy, having directed extras pointing and laughing at you, kind of my nightmare. But Hopefully you won't have to go through that again. Yeah. Maybe the sequel. Maybe the sequel. <laughs> There'll be 200 <laughs> people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.